What's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I'm going to take you along with me in screen printing custom hoodies and custom joggers from start to finish. And for these joggers, we're actually screen printing it on the shin of the leg. So this is going to be a tough sweatsuit. So before you even start watching this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Like, if you want to subscribe, hit the button right here. It's like a triangle thing. It's my logo. Click on that. Subscribe. It means a lot to me. And custom sweatsuits coming right up. Now, the first thing we're going to do is get our designs printed on transparency paper and expose our screens. In this case, my screens are drying in here and there's no light getting in here. But before I open this, we got too much UV lighting going on here. So we need to turn on the yellow safe light. So let's go do that. There you have it, guys. The light is on. It's pretty dark. I know you can't see me, but it's nothing I can do about this because I can only operate in that yellow safe light. So let's open this. And in this case, our design doesn't have too much detail, but it doesn't have too little detail. So we're just going to stick with the medium mesh count, which is 156 and 156 for both of them. Let's go do that. If anybody out there is curious, this is my screen drying cabinet. It was actually just made by two by fours and I made it myself actually. And then these were just used to stick on with a nail gun. And it was pretty cheap to make better than just buying one and it looks pretty cool with the red and black i was just able to customize it i like it like that i think it holds about 20 or 30 screens so it's great and if you guys want to see a tutorial video on this let me know down in the comment section i'll definitely cook that up anyways back to the video then you want to align your transparencies onto the grid that you use to expose your screens and then you already added the tape in this case now you want to just take your 156 mesh and tape that puppy on there. And it should be just stuck on there. Just make sure it is. And now we take it to that exposure unit. Now this part is pretty simple. You just lay the screen onto the exposure unit. Place your mat to add pressure. And you expose. All right, guys, and the next thing you want... All right, guys, I just rinsed this and talked to the camera, but the camera wasn't recording, so I'm going to do this again. But all I did was basically rinse this with water, front and back, and now I'm just going to let it sit for about 45 seconds. As you can see, just by me spraying it, the design is already starting to fall out, and it'll fall off even better fully in about 45 seconds when I go to do the final rinse. All right, guys, now I'm going to do the final rinse, and as you'll see, is the design will just fly off. As you saw, it only took a couple seconds to basically do that, but now the screen is exposed, and those parts of the design is open, so that match, I mean, ink can flow through it. Once you make those screens, you want to go ahead and let them dry. I tend to put a fan on it just so it can speed up the drying process, but you could just let them air dry. While those dry, I'm going to check in all the items and see if they're all there and count it up and get them ready to print. In this case, I got them all counted up and ready to go. In this case, we are printing a white on white, which means joggers are white, hoodies are white. Now, in this case, I got all the items ready to go and checked in and everything is here. So we got joggers and white hoodies which is like a sweatsuit, so let's go do this. Side note, these are both white. So one little mess up can go a long way. If I get ink, if I have ink in the littlest corner and this thing touches it by accident, we're screwed. So white gets dirty real easy. So just be careful if you're printing white. All right guys, now that the screens are dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the press and get them ready to go. First thing you wanna do is center it onto the palette and tape these bad boys up so that no ink gets outside of the screen. So let's do a little time lapse of me doing this. Now that we got it taped up, let's load it up with ink. you have a good amount of tack on here when I say tack I mean glue or stickiness 
or tax spray that you spray on there. You want to have a little bit more than what you would usually have for t-shirts because hoodies are much thicker and they don't really stick that well when you have just a little bit. What I like to do is I use water-based glue on my palette so I can just reactivate the glue with water and I just spray it on there and then I just clean the lint off. But when I'm printing fresh hoodies, I like to add I like to clean it and then add a little bit more glue just so it could be sticky enough and it could print great. All right, you guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Time to print. Let's do this test print. In this case, I'm printing it on this sheet, test sheet. And let's do it. Boom, that is perfect. That is perfect. All right, guys, I know, I know. Enough teasing. Let's get to printing on the actual hoodie. So now that we got tack, this hoodie's gonna stick properly. And then you just wanna line it up. And let's do this. Perfect, let's flash it. Just a couple seconds under the flash, nothing more than 10 seconds. My best bet is eight seconds, eight to 10. Works best for me. Maybe even less actually. Like that was already perfect. There we go, that looks clean. Now, there it is coming out of the flash. You want it to cure at about 320, 340. Looks good. And let's see how this turned out. It looks great to me. There you have it guys, this thing turned out amazing. Print is so smooth. Let me give you guys a closer look at it. Print is smooth, bright opaque. I mean, obviously, because it's white hoodies. That's the, white items is the best thing to print. There's no doubt about that. My fellow screen printers know exactly what I mean. But, let's start production. Just like that, we got the back of the hoodies done. All right, guys, it's the same process for the front print. This is gonna be directly in the center. This one goes. I think I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. print of course oof that looks clean that looks really good clean all right guys now we're going to print the joggers this is going to be something new i've been doing i've never really printed on this location before but he wants to print it right on the shin. So we're gonna do that. You're gonna align these seams. 
this cuff is going to go right at the edge and we're just going to align it and then you just pin it flash it that red is popping a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some technical difficulties. Print. And boom, that looks amazing. Alright guys, now it's time for the final piece to the puzzle. I got the hoodies right there stacked up by side because you know what we're going to do. We're actually doing custom neck tags for the hoodies and joggers as well. And it's going to be dope. It's red tag, so everything is like a red theme. I got on a red jacket too. Everything is just red today. And let's go do that. Alright guys, now to screen print the neck tags on these hoodies, it's the same process as t-shirts. Just a little bit more of loading up. So this hood gets in the way, as you can see with the screen. So what I like to do is just take it all the way back, loop it right on the edge, and then it flattens up a little bit. And then luckily I can see my line right there. So I'm gonna bring it in. And then rip out the tags. And then you print it the same way you would a t-shirt. But for hoodies, it's so thick. It's like a blanket here. So everything does puff up. But the client was okay with it. He didn't mind it. And he still wanted the neck tag. So we did do them. And then now you just throw it in the conveyor dryer and you're good to go. Alright guys, hoodies and joggers are done. The last thing that we need to do is bag these puppies up and get them ready to go. There it is, guys. Everything is bagged up and ready to go. There you have it, guys. The hoodies and joggers turn out amazing. We got them all bagged up, and they look professional and amazing. They're basically retail ready. I like to get these bags because they're a little thicker, and they feel and look a lot better. They're just a premium version of the regular bags. You could get the cheap ones, but again, you get what you pay for. But I like to pay for these because they just feel and look a lot better my clients love it other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just wanted to take you along with me and printing these hoodies and joggers like a sweatsuit and this sweatsuit is pretty tough with the shin print it's pretty unique and the print in the middle instead of the left chest and the full back turned out amazing client loves it. i'm gonna go box this up and personally deliver it to the client right now but if you guys like this video please like share subscribe and if you're new here go tune into my other videos and i'm sure you'll like those if you like this video and make sure you smash that subscribe button. Other than that, stay on the lookout for my videos because I got some videos queued up for you guys and they're coming real soon. See ya.